Yep. Hello, Miss Edgerton. How are you doing today? You doing okay? Yeah, they gave me pain meds, so I'm doing good. They gave you your pain meds, so they're, yeah. you're feeling all right right now? How are you doing today? Perfect. Well, I'm going to wash my hands, and then I will be right back over here, all right? Glad the thing broke. I'm going to act like I did it because that stuff makes your gloves not do too well. All righty. Well, Ms. Edgerton, who do you have? Or first of all, my name is Jacob Bishop. I'm student physical therapist assistant, and I'll be working with you today. Oh, thank you. Um, who do you have with you today? Your sister. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, there you go. Good, thank you. Did you drop yours too? Yeah. Oh. Um, all righty. Well, first of all, do you have anything under your knees today? They look like they're bent up a little bit. Do you care if I pull this back a little bit? You're just using the thingy? Okay. I'm actually going to move that down just a little bit because I know that's probably comfortable for you, but what that does is it causes the muscles to tighten up, and over time, that could call what we called a contracture where they tighten up and you can't get it straightened out all the way and we don't want that to happen all right we, we want to try to prevent that from happening so I'm gonna straighten that out for you also um, we don't want your hands clenched for a long amount of time so we'll talk about that later on also your feet we don't want them all the way down which we'll we'll assess some of your positioning more later on today okay um, so are you having any pain today Okay, so from a scale from 0 to 10, 0 being no pain at all, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt in your life, what would you say would you rate it? Like a 5. Like a 5? Like a like okay, and you said you have had your pain meds? Yes. Okay. And where is your pain at today? Like all over where your skin burns. All over where your burns are at? Okay. And how is that affecting your activity? Yeah, that's a little bit of that position I was talking about. Yeah. You know, we want to keep you out. We don't want you all tightened up because that's what can cause those tra contractures, those uh, tightening of the muscles and skin. And if that happens, then we're going to have less mobility, and we don't want that. Okay? Yeah. So, first of all, we're just going to get um, a few different measurements here just to see how we're doing, and that will help us assess how our exercises are going today. Okay? Okay. All righty. So, first of all, I'm going to bring this around to the opposite side. And I'm going to unplug it to do so. Okay. I'll just wrap it around. I'll forget it if not. Alrighty. So, we'll have your arm right here. I'll come right under with it. I'll have you straighten it out for me a little bit as far as you can. There we go. How's that feel? Okay, and we're going to start that and see what it is, and then we'll have this on the offset finger over here, as far as you can let me get me kind of all tightened up here, Let's see if that works a little better. Alrighty, and can I actually have you write that down for me, Megan? So it looks like the uh, blood pressure is 112 over 74. This isn't too bad. It's where we want it. And then her heart rate is 89, and then 98 for her O2 stats. So that's all looks really well, really good. Still feeling okay? Good. All righty. Let me get this off the arm here, because I know this ain't gonna be comfortable while we're doing some different exercises and stuff. So the goal today is just to get you moving around, okay? Do what? It is going to hurt now. I'll talk about that with you too, but when you stand up, all that blood is going to rush down to your feet. 
and the way the amount your how bad your burns were that's really going to cause a lot of pain when you stand up but our goal is to just push through that pain and it's hopefully going to go away a little bit as we walk okay because what happens is your muscles down in the bottom of your legs are going to push that blood back out until it starts going up towards your heart a little bit more and that'll get rid of that pain sound good you guess appreciate it and that and then so have you did you use your inhaler today at all before we did this before we started okay so yes and then i know they talked to you about you a little bit about purse lip breathing with your asthma can you tell me a little bit about how you do that yep just like that and how fast yep you want it pretty slow when you're breathing out all right you don't want to blow out that candle but you want to flicker that candle okay perfect Okay, so if you get lightheaded at all today, you feel like you can't breathe as well from that asthma. I know you got some burns in there as well. We want to do that. Just purse lip breathing, stay calm, okay? And just work through it, all right? All righty. So first off, what I want you to do, is it all right if I move this up a little bit? All righty. I am going to move this up. And I just want you to move uh, your toes back towards you and then right back down. Does that make sense? So you're coming up with them, yep and then right back down, just like that. So we're going to do 10 of those, all right? We're going to do three sets of 10 on those today, okay? And I'll also put this as one of your exercises that you're going to be uh, taking home with you. I'm have it on there. Now you're going to do it 10 times for three, or three, 10 reps for three sets like we're doing here, but you're going to do it four times a day every day, okay? We really want to, we really want to uh, emphasize this because like I said before, this motion right here is going to use those muscles in the back of your leg to push all that blood back up and all the edema that you have back up, uh, all the fluid in your leg back up into your uh, upper body, and that's going to help with the pain and the healing down there, okay? So when we get to 10, we'll rest for a second, and then we're going to do 10 more. Yeah, I know. We were just talking, so it's good. We're good? Okay, perfect. Now the next one I'm going to have you do is while you're sitting like that, I'm going to bring you up just a little bit more here. Make sure we're good with this line. How's that feel? You all right? All right. What we're going to do on this one is we're going to wrap this gate belt around your foot. And I got this all tangled, so that might not be comfortable. Okay, so we're going to put this right around one of your feet, and what I want you to do is I want you to pull back on this, okay, as hard as you can. We just want to feel that stretch in the back of your calf right there, the back of your leg, and when you feel that, I want you to hold it for 30 seconds, okay, and we're going to do this three times each on both legs, okay, because what we have right now is what we were talking about with a tightening of those muscles in that skin, you have that going on a little bit down here, and this is going to help uh, lengthen these muscles in the back to give us that motion we want, okay? Okay. And also, um, real quick while we're, while we're just doing some exercises here, I wanted to ask you about the percussion that they showed you. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the technique of how the percussion is and everything? Yep. Cupped hands, yep. Yep. Back and forth, and for how long? Yep, three to five minutes each position. So we want to we want to get all the lobes there with the lungs. So each position you put her in, three to five minutes on that. And anytime if you don't know where to position her, the lungs should always be perpendicular to the floor. Okay. So how many have you done with that, Miss Edgerton? This is the second one. You were doing three on each foot. Really pull back. In. We're holding for thirty seconds. Yep. Yep, three times. I'm going to lower the head down, okay? All right, y'all go. Okay. On one foot or both feet. Okay. All righty, and we're going to keep this here a second. I'm actually going to lay you all the way back this time. You ready? I'm going to lay you down flat here. Is by laying down onto your left side. So let me come over to here. All righty. So this time what I want you to do is we're going to put this right around your feet again. 
I want you to keep your leg as straight as you can keep it, all right? So really push that knee down, and you're going to pull up on your leg here so that your leg is straight coming up. You should feel that stretch right on the back side of your leg. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. We're going to do three of them. Before we get started, though, I'm going to go ahead and just move this underneath you here. I just want to have some modesty here so everybody at the bottom of the bed don't see everything. And I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing. Oh, excuse me. How's that feel? Pretty good. All righty. So I want you to keep that leg straight over there, and I want you to pull it up, and I want you to hold it for 30 seconds here. So keep that knee straight as you can keep it. Can you feel that in the back of your leg? Can you get your knee any straighter here? There you go. That's as straight as you can get it. That's what we're going to work to. We're holding for 30 seconds there. All righty. Get to 30 seconds. We can let it back down slowly. This is also going to be in your home exercise plan that I'm sending home with you. All right. So remember this one. We're going to be doing these at home. We're really going to be stressing that stretching because of all those tight muscles you got. We really need to stretch those out so that you have better gait. Um, all your muscles are working better. You can get stronger and everything. All right. So that's one. We got two more. And we're going to do this both legs as well. Feel that still? Mm -hmm. All the tightness in the back. All right. Good. So I want you to do that. And we don't want it to be overly painful, but we want to. We won't definitely want to feel that stretch. Okay. Okay. Good. Yep. Both. Okay. So you can let it back down slowly. All righty. And I think we're gonna be done with this for the moment. All righty. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the towel for you. Actually, I'm going to get another spare pillow. I'm going to do three sets. I'm going to roll this up. We're going to put this under your elbow, okay? okay. And we're going to work on stretching that elbow out for you, all right? And I'm just going to help you stretch it here. I'm going to raise you up a little bit. All the way down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's up. Uh, Better? Okay. So this one, I'm actually going to move this down as well. Okay. So we're going to put this right under your elbow here. What I want you to do is I really want you to push down as hard as you can there and try to get that elbow straight for me. I'm going to give a little overpressure as we're doing this, right? We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Okay. You feel that? Feel it all up in here? Yeah. Okay, so those muscles right up in here are really tight, so we're really wanting to stretch those out. So we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Huh? Such a good... No, you're good. It's hard. We're going to do this for three times, and we're also going to do it on both sides. You got a lot of tight muscles today. Ten more seconds here. I can't really see the clock behind me. I don't wanna, all right, we can relax it for a second. Just kind of move it around, actually, while we're doing Oh, yeah, yeah. Too close. All right, we're going to go again here. 30 seconds. Really trying to get it as straight as possible. 